I'm Brandon Schaefer. I'm the President of the Senate. As we head into the last day of this 2010 legislative session, I think the Senate Democrats can say, we stood up for Colorado families. We said we would balance the budget, and we did. We made responsible cuts and difficult decisions, and today the state of Colorado has no deficit. We said we would create jobs, and we did. We increased Colorado's renewable energy standard and expanded natural gas expo exploration and production in our state. We said we would stabilize the state's retirement fund, and we did. Working across party lines, we took measures to ensure the security of the public employee retirement account for generations to come. We said we would improve our measurement tools for success in teacher performance, and we did. Working together, Democrats and Republicans advanced one of the most comprehensive education reform packages in the history of our state, including teacher evaluation and effectiveness and an overhaul of the CSAP testing. We said we would expand access to health care in rural areas of our state, and we did. We created incentives for doctors and nurses to relocate to underserved parts of our state, and we preserved telemedicine services from harsh budget cuts. We said we would end gender discrimination in health care coverage and require greater transparency in Medicaid, and we did. We passed landmark legislation requiring health insurance to be gender neutral, and we tackled Medicaid efficiencies, cutting down on fraud and abuses to deliver better services to those in need. Finally, we said we would achieve greater accountability in government, and we did. We directed the state auditor to inspect every department of government, find cost savings, and return taxpayer dollars to the state's general fund. We did these things and much, much more. Greater regulation of payday lending and medical marijuana, higher education trans transfer and flexibility, child protection services, and sentencing reform. These are just a few of the areas where we made significant progress. We served the people of Colorado, and we made Colorado a better place. With that, let me turn it over to John Morse, the Majority Leader. Thank you for coming. Only in Colorado, 12th of May, last day of session, and there is snow on the ground. So maybe those of us that haven't had a chance to ski in the last 120 days will get an opportunity to do so in the next 14. <laughs> <laughs> this session was highly charged and had tremendous potential to be very political. We've got a governor's race up, everybody in the House is up for re-election as they are every two years, and roughly half the Senate is up for election. So politics was thick as we started this session. But I am very proud to stand in front of you and behind these folks behind me, because we didn't politic this session. This was a leadership session, not a political session for us. Leadership requires that you make very difficult decisions, but that you weigh the pros and cons of what you need to do, and you do what's best for the future of Colorado and not necessarily what's best for you personally. And there are many people standing behind me that did exactly that. And thanks to that, as the President said, we have made some changes this year that will last us for generations. So this has been a profoundly productive session and we are very happy to see it come to an end, to see if we can get some sleep and some skiing. Thank you so much for coming.